Good day students! In this video, you will learn how to find or to solve for the asymptotes of a rational function. But before we proceed with the examples, let us first define the terminologies that you will be encountering all throughout the video. First, an asymptote. An asymptote is an imaginary line to which the graph gets closer and closer as it increases or decreases its value without limit. Next, we have the vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptotes of a rational function may be found by examining the factors of the denominator that are not common to the factors in the numerator. Vertical asymptotes occurs at zeros of such factors. Then, we have a horizontal asymptote. A horizontal asymptote is a horizontal line that tells you how the function will behave at the very edges of a graph. A horizontal asymptote is not a sacred ground. However, the function cannot touch and even cross over the asymptote. Let us now proceed with the first example. We have r of x is equal to x plus 5 all over x minus 2. First, let us find the vertical asymptotes. Please take note that to determine the vertical asymptote of a rational function r of x, find the zeros of the denominator that are not zeros of the numerator. Which means, we have to take a look at the given example if there are common factors that could be cancelled out. In this particular example, we do not have. Therefore, we will proceed directly in getting the denominator, which is x minus 2, then equate that to 0, for we are looking for the zeros, which means we are looking for the values of x. To find the value of x, apply APE. We will add positive 2 to both sides of the equation. So I will now have x is equal to 2. Please remember that asymptotes are line. Therefore, we are expecting an answer in the form of an equation of a line. Thus, the vertical asymptote is at x is equal to 2. Same given example r of x is equal to x plus 5 all over x minus 2. This time, we will try to find the horizontal asymptote. To do that, please take note of this. To determine the horizontal asymptote of a rational function, compare the highest degree of the numerator n and then the denominator d. So we will have three cases. First, if the numerator is less than the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to zero. The second case is that if the numerator is equal to the denominator, the horizontal asymptote y is the ratio of the leading coefficient of the numerator a sub n to the leading coefficient of the denominator a sub d. It will be in the form of y is equal to a sub n over a sub d. Third and the last case is if the numerator is greater than the denominator, there will be no horizontal asymptote. Let us go back to the example that I have mentioned and let us compare the highest exponent of the numerator and the denominator. Notice that the numerator is x raised to 1 and the denominator is also x raised to 1. Therefore, we will fall under the second case, which we will have the numerator is equal to the denominator. If this happens, we have to solve the ratio of the leading coefficient of the numerator and then the leading coefficient of the denominator. So the leading coefficient is 1 to both. Therefore, y is equal to 1 over 1. Then simplify. We will now have y is equal to 1. 
Again, we are expecting a line in here. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is at y is equal to 1. You can see in your screen that this is the graph of the rational function r of x is equal to x plus 5 all over x minus 2. Now, we will also try to graph the asymptotes that we solved earlier. For vertical asymptote, we have x is equal to 2. You can see in there that that is the blue line. And then, our horizontal asymptote y is equal to 1. And that is the green line. Example number 2, we now have r of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. We will try to solve first for the vertical asymptote. To do that, let us factor the denominator and see if there are factors that could be cancelled out to both numerator and denominator. So we will now have r of x is equal to x plus 1 all over the factors which are quantity x plus 1 times the quantity of x plus 1. Notice that we have same term in the numerator and then in the denominator. So we will cancel x plus 1. Therefore, the remaining equation in my given is now r of x is equal to 1 over x plus 1. Then proceed, let us get the entire denominator, x plus 1, and equate that to 0. Then, to solve for x, let us apply addition property of equality. So, I will now have x is equal to negative 1. Therefore, the vertical asymptote is at x is equal to negative 1. Same given example r of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. This time, we are trying to find the horizontal asymptote. To do that, let us compare the highest degree of the numerator and the denominator. So we can see that the numerator is x raised to 1, and then the denominator is x raised to 2. Therefore, we can say that the numerator is less than the denominator. So we will now have the horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0. You can see in your screen the graph of r of x is equal to x plus 1, all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we are going to graph the computed values that we had earlier. So for vertical asymptote, that will be the blue line in here, which is x is equal to negative 1. And the horizontal asymptote, that is at y is equal to 0. That's going to be the green line. Next, example number 3, we have r of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x plus 4. Let us try to find first the vertical asymptote. To do that, let us first try to factor the numerator. So we will now have r of x is equal to the factors which are the quantity of x plus 3 and the quantity of x plus 3 all over the denominator x plus 4. Notice that after factoring, we do not have similar term to both numerator and denominator, which means we will proceed directly in getting the denominator x plus 4. Then we equate that to 0. To solve for x, we apply addition property of equality by adding negative 4 to both sides of the equation. 
I will now have x is equal to negative 4. And therefore, the vertical asymptote is at x is equal to negative 4. Same given example, r of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x plus 4. This time, we will try to find the horizontal asymptote. To find the horizontal asymptote, let us observe the degree of the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, we have x raised to 2. So it's 2. While in the denominator, we have x raised to 1. So the denominator is 1. So we can say that the numerator is greater than the denominator. And since the numerator is greater than the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote exist. Now, the graph that you can see in your screen is the graph of the rational function r of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x plus 4. This graph also shows the vertical asymptote of the one we computed earlier that is x is equal to negative 4 and that is the blue line which describes the behavior of the graph. Notice that we do not have a horizontal asymptote in this particular graph. Last, example number 4, we have r of x is equal to 2x minus 3 all over 8x squared minus 4x minus 12. First, let us solve for the vertical asymptote. To find the vertical asymptote, let's try to factor the denominator and see if there are factors that could be cancelled out to both numerator and denominator. So I will now have r of x is equal to 2x minus 3 all over the factors of the denominator which are 4 multiplied by the quantity of 2x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 1. Notice that we have common factors 2x minus 3 to numerator and 2x minus 3 to denominator. So we could cancel that out. Now, the remaining equation from my given is r of x is equal to 1 all over 4 multiplied by the quantity of x plus 1. One. Next, let us apply the operation in the denominator. So I will now have r of x is equal to 1 over 4 times x is 4x. Then 4 times 1 is 4. Then get the entire denominator 4x plus 4 and equate that to 0. To solve for x, First, let us apply addition property of equality by adding negative 4 to both sides of the equation. So, I will now have 4x is equal to negative 4. For us to cancel 4 as the numerical coefficient of x, let us multiply the reciprocal of 4 to both sides of the equation, which is 1 over 4. So, 4 will be cancelled out and x will now be negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. Therefore, the vertical asymptote is at x is equal to negative 1. Same given example, r of x is equal to 2x minus 3 all over 8x squared minus 4x minus 12. This time, let us solve for the horizontal asymptote. Let us observe the degree of the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, we can see that that is 2x raised to 1. And in the denominator, we have 8x squared. So therefore, we can say that the numerator is less than the denominator. And if that's the case, the horizontal asymptote is at y is equal to 0. Now, the graph that you can see in your screen is the graph of the rational function r of x is equal to 2x minus 3 
all over 8x squared minus 4x minus 12. And we have the vertical asymptote, which is negative 1, that is the blue line, and the horizontal asymptote, the green line, which is y is equal to 0.